Hello, I'd like to welcome one and I'd also like to welcome all Don't forget that trash can sometimes contain items that you might be needing Like that dead guy who's going to kill you So this level's a police station, in case you, uh... Have only able to assess that yet by this incredibly generic hallway. Man, this hallway is so generic, it just tells me everything I could ever possibly desire to know about this level. There's three secret- oh look! Figured I might as well give another weapon a shot. I have to say, the weapon variety so far is disappointing at best and uninspired at worst. Wouldn't know what to do with that. It's the Federal Bureau of Investigations. I wonder what it's like to fly around like that and someone's just firing like an asshole at you. Me timbers, mate, they be shivered. Back up in case you're an idiot and haven't thrown away all your bombs by now. The truth is somewhere. Where's that smile? Where's that smile? There's that smile. Look at him. I think that guy's Bill Clinton. He was president when I was born then, ish. Maybe, perhaps, I don't even know. Who fell fox Bush Clinton again? Uh oh. Well, it's used armor, so it's only like 50 points. Might as well pick it up. Which made our more strategical position. Be so stupid. He's singing the Duke Nukem theme, of course. Do 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 do. But then with a little at the end. Oh man, I need some medicaments. Or we can just enjoy the municipal supplies. I love how you can get up to the windows in case you don't have any grenades at all. There is a contingency plan for everybody. Man, there's a guy in this game. That's kind of spooky. I have a portable med kit, but I don't think I want to save that. Okay, so here's the yellow door. Let's remember that. They should mark that, like they did with Heretic. Save foul language. Oh, it's the space stuff, that's neat. Let's actually look at the security cameras. 
The metro station you saw, I think that's the exit of this area. Not seen a lot of medicaments yet. Oh, there you go. That's actually what's supposed to happen, is that you come in and it blows up, and you're like, Oh no! Live on the edge of town! Living on the edge of town! Yeah! I want to know how bad that sounds. But I'm just too lazy. if I find some health. Whew! That's a bitch to get out of. Valid reason! Yeah, yeah, we all heard ya. Probably wasn't a smart idea to say that. I knew I was gonna take fall damage somewhere. You're an idiot. Also, you don't play your role very well. There's that pickup we saw. It's not that bad as I thought. Oh, we need a red one. And yes, you do not have to remind me where the one is. They were gonna go up there eventually, if I remember correctly, if my mind is operating at uh, directive parameters. Let's just go down here. I think this connects to the main area anyway. Wait, wait, wait. I never knew you could damage the pipes, and it hurts you. <laughs> Damn it, if people would just stop bleeding. Maybe I could use their mechanics for once. Yeah, let's get to the yellow door. The knock of the map marks it though. No, they're not connected. They still have like a little bit of black in between them. Oh, it's more medicaments. Well, look, they're trying to discover the octobrains. I like that, by the way. That's a very fun uh, game gimmick that I have to say I personally love. Okay, so this shows us that there's a secure. You pull the lever, you pick up these bombs first, though. Ain't that neato, Fatito? Oh, 
What all is it that I missed? But look, it's another picture of uh, Bill Clifton. <clears throat> Boy, the stairs go up to here, yeah. Totally missed that part. Look at that stop. Why is it all purple? I wonder, I really want to know what that is. Is that because it's spray on or what? Is that how to identify? Oh, well, this is a this is a texture that we put on top of the actual texture. Is it things that are by definition somehow destroyable or removable? I don't know. Check weapons at door. Fuck you. Duke Nukem turns in his weapons. I got spat on. Fantastic. Didn't think I was close enough for a spit to hit me though. Can of course be an asshole and throw a pipe bomb through here. Oh, where is it? So you're like, hmm, probably use the same trick. Nope, it does not use the same trick. This area is one of the bigger bullshit areas in the game. You find this, you're like, hmm. That's gotta mean something, right? Like, it's gotta mean something. Do I gotta open this, maybe? No, no, no. It's oh, there's probably another server I can open. Nope. These things are all distractions, really. You see, the real thing is that once you step on this, the door opens. It's never explained. There's no reasonable explanation for it. And they reuse that from the first level of the game. Which I greatly appreciate. Let's see. Do I think, I think everyone should know... That I wish to die. Let's let's be polite. Let's give the enemy a fair chance. Come get some. Where does the blue key go? I forgot. Oh, what to look at that? It just so happens that luck carries me here. Not taking any chances today, chap. So you're here and like, hmm. It's got something to do with this Bush Clifton. Or Bint Clifton. But it's not actually. Your actual proposition is to push this button. And they're like, oh no, it's Octoma Brains. I was a fool to ever open that door. But don't worry, dear friend, you have to open that door. There's nothing inside. It's the second one that opens this, which is also pretty nice. Hey, look, I got some pipe bombs. That's nice. And that's the one you want to take. So we're going to take this one, gather ourselves some freeze ammunition for the weapon we're about to obtain. Oh, that's how... Th you see, it cycles through all four, and it can only open... Yeah. So that one only opens when you hit it. Like like this. That's how they got four switches to open... Oh, yeah. That's that's a very nice little trick. Or workaround is probably the better term. That was a fantastic idea. Ten out of ten, Mr. Duke. Ten out of ten. Yes, Duke, it is an ice weapon. Thank thank for you to notice for us. This probably going to take a while. This is basically how pipe bombs actually function, but Duke Nukem, I think Duke remembers the reference to the item that he last had, which is why you should never switch your items when you're trying to activate a pipe bomb. Because I just, uh, yeah, 
once you switch weapons, it sort of forgets the idea of the of the pipe bomb and you last through. So it doesn't work. If you switch weapons, you have to hold one, and then all the others explode because pipe bombs are volatile. Even in their, if their item pickups are just thrown, they will explode if shot at. And that should clean up the vast majority of enemies down there. The rest, I think, I could just mow down with my ripper. So yeah, this is one level. In case you didn't catch that, this is one level. And in case your mind happens to be all the way in Timbuktu, this is just one level! I wonder why they didn't hit him. No, no, Duke, we don't talk about bitches over here. Yeah, that guy's pretty tough because you don't have a rocket launcher or anything. I don't think that's anything to begin with. I'm rolling no on generic munitions. Welcome to the level that warrants its own video because it's really big. The Smithsonian Terror is the most infamous level of this pack. It is so infamous that it is probably the biggest turnoff of the of the entire expansion. It's really big, it's confusing, it's it's filled to the brim with secrets, it's 7, and it already has 93 enemies on the map to begin with. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time in the next exciting episode of What the Fuck, Man!